Scalos project is a community-led uh, urban regeneration project in one of the most socially and economically deprived uh, communities in the whole of the UK and Ireland. Um, East Belfast has been uh, particularly seriously affected by the conflict of Northern Ireland and uh, Scalos is an attempt to address some of these issues for our local area. Um, it's a in terms of numbers, it's a 27 million uh, euro uh, shared space development project providing multi-use space for the local community. We'll say a little bit about more of that, uh, more of that as, we, as we go through. But I think one of the key things for us in Skenos is that we are addressing issues of conflict and particularly the post-conflict situation in, in Belfast. Uh, not just by, by technical means, um, but also addressing it uh, as an act of reimagining. If we are going to secure our communities for the future, we need technical interventions, but we also need imagination. And that imagination is to do with how we use our space and how we connect our communities to the life of the rest of the city. Um, Inner East Belfast, just to say a very little, little bit about it, Inner East Belfast suffers from a very glorious past. Um, we have an imagined glorious history as the engine that drove the British Empire. Um, two of the three largest shipyards in the world uh, were just around the corner from us. Um, one of the largest rope works in the world, but the largest rope works in the world was just up the street. All of that's now gone. Um, we are very much a post-industrial community. But also, in, in the midst of that imagined glorious history, there is also a forgotten history of disease, of severe overcrowding, and of deep poverty. And our, our all-too-present present is uh, of sectarianism and violence. It's a divided community. Um, we have our walls uh, that divide uh, just as effectively. Um, what we have sought to do with Skenos, as I said, is an act of reimagining our community. Um, it is actually built in a very strongly held Protestant loyalist uh, community of British identity, very close to a smaller community of uh, nationalist Catholic and Irish identity. And what we have managed to do is to persuade uh, a, a religious community, a Methodist faith community, in the Protestant area to build an oasis in the middle of that community and, and dedicate it as shared space. It is for everybody. The word skenos we have, we have taken from our faith tradition. It's actually a biblical Greek word and it means tent. And we have imagined it as a piece of space that provides a tent, a presence in our community uh, that is safe for every community. Under the cover of that tent all sorts of other things can happen. And it is about telling new stories, and very quickly, it's telling new stories about what we can do with walls. We have heard of, we have heard stories just this afternoon of divided communities, many divided by physical walls, and Belfast has many, many miles of dividing walls. We built a wall in Skenos in an effort to try and redefine what walls can do. Um, we've built the very first, these are common uh, over here in the continent, but back home this is the first vertical garden on the island of Ireland. Uh, we built a living wall, a wall that is growing and constantly changing, a wall that reflects the seasons as they pass, a wall that we believe is beautiful, and it tells a different story about a wall in a city that is, that, where walls mean conflict, division, blight and uh, segregation. Our wall is, is, is about the future, it's about growing into that new future. It also delivers a piece of physical infrastructure to our community. One of the things we've learned about regeneration is we need to give our communities pieces of physical infrastructure that begin to tell, uh, that by which they begin to identify their community. Our aspiration is that, in, we've been open for almost two years, our aspiration is that in time, local people will begin to give directions around our community by this piece of physical infrastructure, something that's positive 
and, and, and uh, life enhancing. Telling new stories about walls. Also, we want to tell new stories about space. We want to build in a conflicted area. We want to build shared civic space. Whether it's in the photograph here of our community garden, in which everything grown is edible, and everything grown is freely available to whoever comes in and wants to take away carrots, or wants to take away heads of cabbage, or strawberries, or apples. Shared civic space. But not just political shared space. We understand the political divisions all too readily, but under the cloak of our conflict, we also have had growing social division. And nobody comes near our community if you don't live there. We want to create reasons to, for people to visit our community. We want to create reasons and places where generations, the generations can mix older and younger people. And we want to learn how to share the space with the environment as well. So all the planting is designed to increase the biodiversity of an inner urban post-industrial part of the city. So telling new stories about space, and lastly, telling new stories with culture. Culture and history has been one of the dividing lines in, in Northern Ireland. Um, but it, by, the, by the innovative use of materials, of color and texture, we want to create new stories about culture and art and craft. Um, could take many many hours to tell you the stories of the different artistic elements in the building. We were able to employ, with the help of the EU funding through the Peace Programme, six local artists and craft workers to help us design the space, to make sure it, it, it was at home in our community, but also to make sure that it contributed to helping local people reimagine their space. And one last thing, it is about changing perceptions and the stories people tell about our community. We speak about the, the principle of porousness. We have found that our community is a very watertight community. Nobody moves in or out particularly easily. So the building itself, we are, we are landlords to a range of agencies in Inner East Belfast delivering quality services to our local community, increasing their life opportunities um, and, to, and advancing their life opportunities. <coughs> by, by doing this, we improve the chances of local people in our community to move on with their life, to access opportunities in the rest of the city of Belfast. So we break, we increase the porousness of the, of the imaginary walls around our community enabling people to move out of our community to access opportunities. But the second dimension, which is equally as important, is that we address the issue of porousness in the opposite direction. Communities like ours persist in their uh, isolation because nobody from outside our community comes in. It's perceived as being poor, it's perceived as being violent, and we want to change that perception by creating what we believe is a world-class building in one of the most economically and socially deprived communities in the EU. And we've managed to do the building part, and now we program that building in such a way that it attracts people from outside who would normally bypass our community entirely. I'll tell you a little story to finish. 100,000 visits to, the, to Skena Square in, in our first full year of operation. 40% of those are people who never, ever came near Inner East Belfast in their lives. In one of the rare lulls before the construction of the project was finished, back in 2012, we were sitting with a cup of coffee and I was talking to some colleagues and they said, we know we have a chance of transforming our community and moving on into peace and better relationships. If we can see it at some stage in the future, um, that people feel comfortable coming into Inner East Belfast, parking big, expensive German 4x4 cars on our streets, and then coming back and finding they haven't been damaged, and they can go away, and hopefully they'll go away speaking well of us. 
We opened in October 2012, and in, at the end of November 2012, we had our first big conference event, and 200 people came from all over Belfast, or from all over Northern Ireland, on a Saturday night in the winter, when it's dark and cold and wet. And I watched some of the proceedings, and then I stepped out and I walked around the surrounding streets, and I took out my phone, and I turned on the camera, and I started photographing cars, and uh, up and down the streets and came back to my colleagues on Monday morning and I, I opened my computer where the, fo the photographs were and I showed them big, expensive cars parked on the Mutinards Road and surrounding streets from all parts of, of the north. Who, people who had come in the middle of winter, in the darkness of winter, came to our part of the city and then moved out and began to speak well of our place. That has been our aspiration, that's what we've seen um, just in a very small, local uh, and limited way about how we move on and transition from violence into a more peaceful future. Thank you.